today we jump in and redesign your guys' streams. Hey guys, what's up, it's Gravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I sure am because I'm doing a video that I've been super excited about for a long time. I've been planning this for quite some time and this video is the beginning of a new series that'll be coming to the channel where I review your guys' streams and I'm guessing I'm gonna call it for now just stream review, stream review. So for this series, each episode, I'm going to be jumping in to one of your guys' streams and from a graphic standpoint, telling you what I like about it, what I think could be improved. And then at the end, I'm actually going to redesign at least one piece for your stream and provide it to that streamer for free if you would like to include it in your stream package from here on out. So today we're gonna to be doing that exact thing. I've got a streamer, I tweeted out that I wanted to review one of your guys' streams. I picked out one that stood out to me. We're gonna be reviewing his stream, talking about a couple things that I see, and then we're gonna be redesigning something for his stream and providing it to him. So the first streamer we're gonna be doing is Steamy Todd. So the reason I chose Steamy Todd is because his stream wasn't cookie cutter. He had something special about him. His name is Steamy Todd. So his graphics kind of centered around this smoky style, his stinger transition was some smoke his webcam has some smoke on it and I just thought that was really cool and something that I wanted to tackle and redesign a couple of pieces for so if you didn't know who steamy Todd was I'll leave his link down in the description and this is uh this is him fuck man I can't kill bots Alright, so that was Steamy Todd and just a little snippet from his stream. He is awesome and hilarious. I highly recommend you check him out. Once again, his link is down in the description. But right here, I've pulled up a screenshot from the clip that we just watched. This is a screenshot from his stream. And I'm just going to go over a couple things that I think I would change if I were him. First things first is up here at the top, this bar that has his followers, his subscribers, recent donations, thing like that, and his name. One thing that I do not like that streamers have is when this bar is taking up too much space, like I think his is right here. I really like the idea, especially with his style of this red smokiness and this black smokiness. I just think it needs to be a little bit smaller. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of cut it out and then fill in behind it. And this is just a temporary thing to show you what it could look like. I'm gonna move it up and this is what that is going to look like. So Steamy, if you're watching this, one thing I would change is definitely push that up on your stream and bring the text down a little bit. Make that bar at the top a little bit smaller and thinner so it's not taking up too much of the screen. I think that would make it look a lot better and feel a little bit less claustrophobic. But the next thing I wanna take a look at is your webcam border. I think your webcam border is a little bit too large and in your face, the border is a little bit too thick and then having your name off to the side down here definitely looks like it's taking up way too much space. So I definitely condense that down and I wanna show you what my plan would be for that. So I'm gonna cut out your webcam and then just quickly fill in behind where your webcam was and then bring in this new webcam design that I designed just for you with the red background, the red smokiness look. And real quick guys, I'm gonna show you how I built the webcam border. You can go onto Google and find all kinds of free textures and things, or you can buy your own texture and bring it into Photoshop and just get something like this. And then we can click it, go up to image adjustments, and then maybe mess around with the color balance and make it, uh, make it some weird colors here. So let's go ahead and uh, make it some sort of cool yellow. Then let's go to the image adjustments. Uh, curves, maybe make the darks a little bit darker like this, highlights a little bit lighter like that. Cool, so we got a nice little yellow design. Then I grabbed my pen tool, and using the pen tool, I just kind of drew out a cool shape for the webcam border while holding down shift. Shift will help you draw either just straight lines or 45 degree angle lines. So I'm just gonna click here, hold down shift and go straight there, hold down shift for a 45 angle to like there, then go over here holding shift, Shift down like this, shift 45 angle like that, then shift 45 angle like that, and then maybe back in, and then maybe down like this, and then maybe 45 like that, and then across like that, and then we can just go out and about like this. Then I selected make a selection, okay. Hit Command Shift I on the keyboard to flip your mask so you can delete everything except what is inside of what you drew. Then we can come over here, right click and go to duplicate layer, hit OK, click on one of them, go to image, go to free transform or transform, flip horizontally, and then we can kind of drag it out like this. And then you can work on the blending if you want a little bit, maybe smooth it out so that you can't see the uh, 
can't see the um the connection down here but that is pretty much how you make a webcam border then you can just kind of combine these two layers maybe merge them together and then go to free transform and just kind of scale it around till you get it to be the right aspect ratio but that is a really quick and easy way to design a simple webcam border and this is kind of the same style that i used for his so as you see you've got the new webcam border that's real nice thin sleek with your name at the top and not taking up too much space and then we've got the much thinner and low profile bar at the top so this is what your stream could look like what i would prefer it to look like to maybe feel a little bit less claustrophobic so here's a before and after this is after and then before. So the last thing I wanted to make for your stream is a new stinger transition. Now Steamy Todd has this smoke style stinger transition, but it's not quite as clean as I like it to be. When he hits to transition, it just kind of pops up on screen really quickly, has some smoke and then just like really strangely fades away. And I think it could be quite a bit cleaner. So here we are inside of OBS and I've actually hooked up your stinger into the OBS real quick. I'm gonna switch over to my countdown here and you'll see that the smoke now just kind of comes in from the side and fades away. So there you go, you've got this clean new smoky transition where the smoke comes in from the side and then fades out. Now you can still see the cut point just a little bit because the smoke is transparent. It's gonna be really hard to get smoke to completely cover the screen, but what you can do is you can take this file and put it on top of each other inside of something like After Effects and then re-export it so that it's a little bit of a thicker smoke. Something like that would work to make your transition a little bit more seamless without the cut, but I think it looks great how it is and it's a little bit better than the one that you currently have, so if you'd like to take that, you can. But the next thing I wanna show you real quick is how you would install your webcam cam border into your OBS because there is something a little special about it. So when I provide you with the webcam border, I'm gonna be providing you with two files. One is just the image of the webcam border. You can throw that in to your OBS just like you would any other webcam border. But then I'm also gonna be providing you a mask layer for your camera. So before you want to put your camera into the little box, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your camera is taking up the full size of your OBS, the full 1920 by 1080. And then you're just going to want to right click on your camera file so like cam link right down here and go to filters you're going to want to hit the plus down here and then add an image mask slash blend so click that hit ok and then where it says path browse and just pick that mask file that I provided. It's going to be an image that looks like this. So you're just going to select that. And what that's going to do is it's going to chop a notch out of the top of your webcam border for where your name is going to go. So once you've gone to browse and selected the mask that I provided and then hit OK, it's going to look something like this. As you can see, it's chopped off some of the sides and then it's chopped off this notch out here. So this is now going to perfectly fit inside of your camera border. So if I bring in your camera border like normal and now just scale down my cam link footage here, you're going to see that it perfectly fits inside of this. The notch is going to go right behind just like that. And you can see your name is perfect. Let's go ahead and turn back on displays capture so you can see behind it and it's perfectly fit. You can see that there's no webcam image behind the steamy Todd right here. The mask goes perfectly behind the border. And if we hide this image, you can see how it's cut out just like that. So you just need to apply your mask to the footage. Make sure your footage is taking up the entirety of the screen. Don't shrink it down and then apply the mask. Make sure the, the, camera footage is taking up the entirety of your OBS, then apply the mask, then shrink it down, add it behind your webcam overlay, and you get an awesome look like this, where it's just perfectly cut out at the top up here. And then you just add the stinger transition like normal if you do plan on using my stinger transition. One thing to keep in mind is that I was using frame 116 as the transition point, so make sure you set it from time milliseconds here to frame 116, and that that's what I think looked the best. But that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was just based around Steamy Todd's stream, but I hope you learned a couple things for your stream. Maybe how to use a mask with your webcam border to do advanced webcam borders. Maybe you got an idea for a stinger transition or realized that your border at the top is a little bit too large as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep an eye out on Twitter for next time I post if you guys would like me to review your stream. And then maybe you'll be featured in one of these videos. I'll throw your link down in the description and I'll design something for your stream as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.